boy did I sleep good tonight. I was here for what, 11 hours? From when I parked and went to bed? I slept the whole time. I gotta walk into the office now in about five minutes. Just getting here now. I'm gonna walk into the office and let them know that I'm here. Well, they know I'm here because I checked in. But uh, confirm when they wanna load me. And they're gonna put some farm stuff on me. And we're gonna head back up to Canada. Good day, everybody. I've already said good morning to you, right? So we're leaving our, uh, our farm equipment place of pickup. This is the same road we drove down yesterday. You might uh, you might recognize it. This is when we were bobtailing down to the Flying J. I had to go out for supper. So now we're pulling out of here with our trailer and our load behind us. So we're gonna cross over. We're in Illinois. Last time we thought this was still Iowa. Nope. We're on the other side of the river. To our left, there's a river. On the other side is Iowa. We're gonna go there. And then we're gonna keep going north until we hit the border. And we're gonna keep going north. So, Monday is a holiday, I found out. And at first we were gonna deliver this Monday morning. I don't know if it's a holiday in uh, the US, but this one's kind of a strange holiday. It's the February holiday, which is, uh, I think in Manitoba, it's called Louis Riel Day. But the rest of Canada, it's called Family Day. I don't I just call it Family Day, because Louis Riel was a traitor. So I don't like celebrating a holiday named after him. <laughs> so, uh, Tuesday morning it is. I'm gonna deliver this Tuesday morning and uh, it sounds like I'll probably have a reload out of that Estevan Weyburn area. Uh, probably those spools again. Remember I always pick up those spools out in Weyburn? I bet you that's what they're gonna be fishing for. Fishing, <laughs> fishing. I don't know. I just uh, I just pull what they tell me to, within reason. So I'll be home tomorrow. Well, it won't be quite midday, but uh, let's see here. Karen, speak to me. For once, I want you to speak to me. How far away are we? Continue on this road for five kilometers. That's not what I asked you. But okay, I'll do everything myself. 1,200 kilometers from the border, so we're not quite gonna make it to the border tonight. I can make it about 1,000 kilometers or so, maybe 1,100 if I'm just doing freeways. Uh, so 1,200 kilometers, that's what? 700 miles, somewhere in there, around that, give or take. Because 600 miles is 1,020. 750 miles. Can't do that quite in a day on U.S. hours of service. So, we'll get as far as we can tonight and we'll go the rest of the way tomorrow. And then we, we'll be home for a few days. We've got a couple of things to get done. Hang out for a little bit. It's so one good thing about living in Manitoba, southern Manitoba, is almost well, all of our freight lanes that we usually do go from western Canada to like northern midwest of the u.s or so that's like what we mainly do for the most at least that's what i've been doing for a while we we'll probably do other stuff too but i seem to be in this region which is great because every load then goes right past home so i can always get home i've, I've seen the comments saying wow you're home so often yeah that's uh due to my location and my freight lights i just so happen to be right in the middle of all of my trips usually so like this I would have, if it was going anywhere else, I would have to go there and wait in my truck all weekend, the long weekend, to deliver my freight. But since I live where I do, sorry, my window, my wipers are not wiping properly, are they? Since I live where I do, instead of going and waiting in my truck, I can just go and stop at home. It's geography, lucky. So that's what we're gonna do. Back at the same flying day we were at, yesterday. You know what? I'm going to shower. Yep. I only decided that right now with all of you fine people. Figured I'd tell the world. I was going to shower here last night 
and then I told myself why because I'm gonna wake up in the morning get all sweaty again chaining down this farm equipment I'm gonna shower in the morning I almost forgot I got no one here to tell me I stink <laughs> I don't think I stink though don't look at me like that diesel you got a super sensitive dog nose that doesn't count Let's see, let's see, let's find a spot here. Let's find a spot. I choose this spot. Park ourselves in here and go inside, clean ourselves off, and we'll be on our way. I'm gonna grab a coffee on our way out as well. Vundaba. It's a good thing too, man. Good thing, man. This nose is very sensitive, you know? Just keep yourself clean, man, every day. I know, Diesel. You always do a very good job of keeping yourself clean. I wish you wouldn't do that in the background of some of my shots. Because then I gotta delete that. Because no one wants to see that, man. Well, you're just jealous, man. That's not true. Nope. Not sure. Okay, let's uh, put ourselves in there. I'm gonna check my load here right away. Let's let the world know. I'll let you know. I'll let the e-log know. I am going to check my load. And while I'm out there, I'm going to check my tires. You always gotta mark down in your logs, uh, make, a, make a note of it, when you stop to check your load because they wanna see that you're stopping often enough to make sure that nothing's gonna fly off, that your chains are tight, straps are tight, the freight hasn't moved. Uh, it's not going to move, everything looks good. You're supposed to stop. Oh, well, you're gonna test my knowledge now. You better tell me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. You're supposed to stop minimum every three hours. Right? Right? But I stop. Well, yeah, between two and three hours, I always stop. Just quickly walk around, check them out. And I do a longer stop every six hours or so. I gotta stop for my half hour every eight hours anyway, so I just, yeah, you gotta check your freight. Make sure that it is not moving. You don't wanna lose anything. I've never lost anything, and I'm never going to. We're gonna knock on wood. It's never gonna happen, because I make sure to stop often enough to make sure that everything is still tight. And that's all, the only thing I can tell you guys too. You always, you guys say, hey, trucker drivers, you got any tips for you? My biggest tip to you is don't lose your load. Don't lose your trailer. Don't lose your load. Wear your seatbelt. That's all I got for you right now. So, if you're wondering what a shower looks like in a truck stop, that's it. But it's clean. And they got hot water. This is what we want to build in our master ensuite at home. Wall like that. Very walking in here. It's exactly how we want to have it at our house. I'm gonna build it. You'll see. I already started. And I'm a married man, and you know what that means? I know a few things. There you go. We are sailing past the fields of Iowa towards the setting sun. That sun is so much higher in the sky already than it was a few weeks ago. So good to see. You wouldn't know it just by stepping outside. It's pretty cold. Not as cold here as it is all the way back home. Tomorrow is supposed to get a little bit warmer. And the day after is supposed to be pretty warm indeed. But right now it's about minus 40 back home. It's a little bit warmer here. Though in the wind, as you're flying down the highway, I'm pretty sure it's about the same. It's a cold one. We've got a couple more weeks of this. Summer's on the way. Coming up to the south end of Minneapolis, St. Paul here. 35 E's. to the left on I 35 W. We're gonna keep to the left. I 35 E goes into St. Paul, I 35 W goes into Minneapolis. And we wanna go into Minneapolis. Continue on this road for 14 kilometers. So it shouldn't 
take too long to get around the city. The time is 7.30 p.m. right now. We don't have too much time left to drive. But from here we can get home tomorrow already, but I, I want to see how far I can get. We fueled up just north of Owatonna, put some anti-gel power service conditioner or additive into my fuel because it's minus 24 right now Celsius plus the wind chill of me flying through here at 60 mile an hour. So it's got to be cold on the tanks. I'll tell you what. It's supposed to warm up tomorrow though. Let's hope they're right. Really can't wait for winter to be over. I would be totally fine if we never had another winter. You know that? They keep telling me it's gonna happen. And they keep getting me all excited. And then it doesn't happen and nothing changes. And I get sad. So wouldn't it be great if just we never had another winter again? Once again, here in Clearwater, Minnesota. I'm gonna pull it in here. It's a quarter to nine. My 14 hour day is coming to an end soon. And it's starting to get really cold. The cold really sets in at night. Go straight. This time, you know, no, no. I don't want to go too far in the cold. I don't like risking that. I like having a warm place to go inside to if the weather gets really cold and my truck decides not to run anymore. So we'll go see if our spot is open for us. We've stopped here many times. You guys remember this truck stop, right? It's so cold, and when the weather gets this cold, uh, it keeps all of the exhaust from the trucks idling in the in the lot at a lower level. So I just love the smell of that. I'm just walking outside. I'm just oh, it smells so good. But that reminds me, I got to uh, try not to suck too much air from outside. It's not I don't want to suck that all in here. I love the smell of diesel fuel. <laughs> oh, just like pumps me up, you know. Nostalgic, reminds me of my childhood trucking with my dad. I can remember that smell distinctly my whole life. I always remember that when I, then when I became a trucker myself and I started parking at truck stops, especially in the winter, and I'd just walk through the parking lot, just, oh, so good, so good. But anyways, hey, look at this. I uh, put the bed up. Look at me. I'm trying something different. Uh, I would always roll up my memory foam mattress and put it up here so that diesel wouldn't get his hair all over it, right? But I figured, eh, I, blankets can be washed. We have invented washing machines and dryers. So why not just wash it a little bit more often? Have my mattress down here the whole time. Gives him a bit more of a comfy, soft bed to lay on. I put all my stuff over here so that he doesn't lay where I put my head so no hair ever gets in my face or whatever. Uh, I'm not allergic to dogs. Used to be a little bit, not anymore. It doesn't affect me anymore. But now that I have the bed up, it makes it feel a lot bigger in here. I can't even reach the roof. I love it, I love it. I feel like I can dance. But we're not going to, we're gonna edit some videos. So thanks for watching today in this video. Some are boring, some are not so boring, some are completely boring. But thanks for watching to the end anyways. If you're still here, leave me a comment down below. Let me know you're there and that you're breathing. Give me a thumbs up if you did like the video. If you uh, want to see something different in my videos, let me know down below as well. Click any of these boxes popping up here. These are past videos of mine. The picture of me there, that handsome man you see there. Click on my face and it'll take you to the, uh, the subscribe page where you can subscribe. So I've made it very easy for you, no excuses. Hit my face, go subscribe, or hit one of the other videos around here. It'll take you to past videos of mine, including yesterday's if you missed it. See you later.